What's going on you guys? So I have another Dale Inspiron. Uh, this one is a uh, 3891. This is a uh, Dale Inspiron 3880. So I'm gonna do uh, actually be only one video for two models. They basically look the same. Front and back. So I'm gonna take this one out. I'm show you guys the back side of both. Show you they all look the same so this one's a 3891 this is a 3880 kind of the same the back side side cover panel it's just the front cover base is different the motherboard's different So I remove the VD card. And I'm gonna remove the SSD. It's got a screw right here to remove here. I'm gonna move the fan shroud here, plastic. This comes out like this. Uh, what I will do is, uh, I'm gonna do uh, two, three screws here in the back from the power supply. You have to use a Phillips head. Move the front cover basil. And what I'll do is, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the four screws here for the hard drive. This one's a three and a half inch. Disconnect the stadium power cable. And what I will do is, I'm going to remove the memory. I'll move the SATA cables. Got connected to here optical drive. Right, you can disconnect the six 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 pin 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 power. Yeah, it's gonna got the motherboard in is four pin right here. For the CPU power. Have to remove, and you just have to press on here like this. You gotta pull it. Same with the six pin. You have to press on the pin before you move. So 
So I'm gonna try to remove the also the front here. This is the for the USB and audio, USB 3.0, 2.0. The header. What I'll do is uh, remove the optical drive. It's actually using not a Phillips head, like a smaller one I'm using. What I'll do is I'm gonna remove the power supply now. And before you're gonna do that, I'm gonna go remove the wireless here, the card here. This comes out, and you're gonna, before you're gonna put the power supply, you're gonna click on right here, you see that clip right there, you press it down, the screwdriver, and your power supply should slide to the right. So what I will do is, I'm gonna remove the heat sink, CPU cooler, and this pipe right here. You guys probably can't see. So what I will do is I'm gonna take a napkin and wipe it off. And I have to use the rubbing alcohol. So what I will do is I'm gonna start from the bottom. And remove the screws here. One, two, three.
this one here in the corner. So now what I have to do is you see the front panel header, for the power switch, got disconnected. Just make sure everything, uh, all the, just make sure you check again so there's no any other screws here in the right or left or in the middle, in the bottom. We're gonna pull the motherboard out. Okay. So you have to pull this out first. This looks like a, what is it, SD card reader? It's connected to the USB 3.0 header. You have to pull it out. And here's the motherboard. So you guys, this will be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.